Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Do you listen to me, everybody? Because I say good evening. Do you listen to me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Veronica Lisset. Hello. Are you in the class, Veronica Lisset? Okay, guys, let's begin. Let's begin the better class today. And yesterday, we started the use of what clauses. Today, uh, we continue with imperatives. And I sent you the PowerPoint presentation in a video in WhatsApp. Okay, the WhatsApp video, we are going to watch it. Well, you are going to watch it during the class because we are going to have an activity based on that uh, video. So uh, what we are going to do to begin, unfortunately, there are only seven students in the class in this moment. I have a competition. Okay, let me show you what the competition is about. Okay, as I told you, uh, today we have the topic. Use of imperatives. And the objective is that you, at the end of the class, will use imperatives. You will learn how to use imperatives. What is that? Okay, how to use them. Now, this is the competition. Okay, in this moment, let me see how many girls are. Um, the, Wilfredo, Jacobo, Veronica Lisset Cerna, I don't know if she's there because she doesn't answer. Carlos is the student number three. Marvin, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, you are number four. So it's going to participate um, Monica. Monica says oyente, but I don't admit oyentes, guys. Oyentes is only in an emergency. Only if it is in an emergency, but not every day. 
Okay, so you have to participate. Monica Maricela, you have to participate. And who else? Girls, Sylvia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Let me see, Monica, no, right. oh yes. Monica, are you there? Maria Elena, are you there? Because you have oyente there. If you are not oyente, can you please erase the word oyente? Erase that. Okay. Because today you don't have to be oyente, okay? And Monica, can you answer Maria Elena, please? Are you in the class, yes or no? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so for the, I'm going to say again. Uh, you see, boys, Marvin, Wilfredo, Jacobo, and Carlos, four boys. And girls, Silvia and Maria Elena, only. <laughs> okay. So what we are going to do here is a competition. It's a competition. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. there is a lot of noise here in this moment. Okay, I'm going to explain. Here we have some situations. I have six situations. What you are going to do is, okay, I want to say one by one, there are three for the boys and there are three for the girls. The boys in this moment are four and the girls in this moment are only two. Okay, it's a competition, boys and girls. If the girls answer, you have the point. If you don't answer, you don't have the point. And I say the situation, but what you are going to say is a sentence using a what clause. Remember that when you use a what clause is you give your opinion. Okay, you give your opinion about something and you can use, okay, what, uh, what and something, okay? Any of the ones that we used yesterday. Let's begin with the boys, okay? It, only one opportunity, guys. So only if you are sure about, wait a minute, please. I don't know if you uh, listen some noise out my house. It's the first time that it's too much noise. Okay. Uh, only one opportunity to say the sentence is if it is correct, you have the point. If it is not correct, you don't have the point. And uh, remember, you have to use a what clause. Okay, boys, ready? Yes, ready. Okay, and the first one. I am not selling my product.
Yes, yes, yes. Una pregunta. ¿Cualquiera de los cuatro puede contestar? O... Yes, yes. You are the okay. boss is any of the four. Okay, what I will do is promote my product in other market. Excellent. You got the first point. Marvin, defending your group. Let's see the girls. No se vayan a dejar, okay? The second one is my dark chocolate espresso is expensive. It is for boys or for girls? This is for girls. Okay. Girls, girls, I am waiting. Well, I am saying girls, but I don't see Sylvia. Sylvia, you are part of the team. Rocio also. Maria Jesus, you are here now. You can participate. It's a competition. Uh, you have to tell me a sentence using a what pose. The situation is my dark chocolate espresso is expensive. Tell me a sentence using a what clothes. Okay, do you give up, girls? If you don't say the answer, the boys can say and get more points. Okay, tell me if you are going to answer yes or no. One, two, three, yes or no. Come on, girls. Solo díganme si sí o no. <laughs> Please. Yes or no. Okay. The, the opportunities for the boys. Okay. Any of the boys can answer. My dark chocolate espresso is expensive. That is the situation. And the sentence can be? Um, for example, what my friend did is buy another place. Sorry, but I, I was reading the chat in this past. Okay, is a repeat, Marvin? <laughs> For example, can be uh, what my friend did is buy in other place. Yeah, because remember there are what process is your opinion about something. The majority of the times, the opinion is something to improve. Something to, it's a, like a solution you are given, right? An answer or something. Yes, okay, for, so the boys have two, but because the number two was for girls, so the number three is for boys too, because it's your sentence. Number three is, 
she needs to start her business. What do you say? What she needs is uh, lots of information uh, before to start. Exactly. Okay, boy have three points and the girls zero. Ah, what a change. And I'm a girl and I feel bad. Okay, now this is for girls. The number four is for girls. So please answer girls. People complain about prices. What do you say? Nobody? Nobody going to answer for the team of the girls? Maria Elena? Okay, one thing that here you are not oyentes, right? I don't admit oyentes. If you are going to attend the classes because you are going to participate. No, and any of the girls? Okay, boys. Okay, you, boys, only you are defending this group. <coughs> okay, what sentence can you tell me about the number four? Um. What I will do is get uh, the prices lower. Mm, the number four. Ah, yes, because it's the number four. Yes. Okay, you have four points, boys. And the number five is for boys. So it's another opportunity. You have four and the girls zero. Okay. Now, yours is their product does not have quality. Um, for example, that I will do is uh, make other pill with better quality. Excellent. Good night. We say it. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> uh -huh. Good evening. Remember that for you. Yes, yeah, for good evening is good evening. <laughs> Such are more expensive products, but with better quality. Oh. Sorry, but because I have, I am presenting, I don't know who is asking me. Uh, who is it? Who is trying to participate? ¿Quién es la que me habló? Verónica, Verónica Lisset. Ah, Verónica Lisset Serna. Sí. Ah, ok. Verónica Lisset, ay. Me sentía mal que había hablado y no me contestaba. Ok. 
Sí, bien feo se siente, fíjense. No sé si ustedes se sienten así cuando ustedes le hablan a alguien y no le contestan. Se siente bien feo. Ok, vaya, por fin, ya me habló. ¿Va a participar toda la clase, va? Sí, no, es que ¿Sí? no es mi intención participarle, es que el audio es malo en mi teléfono, no sé por qué. Ok. Eh... This is for you, the number six. The production in this factory is low. Lo que estamos haciendo es que usted me va a dar una oración usando un what flows basada en esta situación. Lo, los compañeros suyos les han dicho todo, los varones, ellos lo han contestado todo. Que aunque sea una que me digan las, las niñas, sería bueno. Okay, the production in this factory is low. What do you think? What is your opinion? Nothing, girls. <laughs> okay, and I cannot wait more. Sorry. So the opportunity is for boys. What do you say? What you, what you need is more demand. Exactly. Here it doesn't matter is it the exact solution, but if you are using the grammar, you are using the idea is excellent. Okay, thank you guys and the boys and many applauses. Ooh. Okay, and the girls, hmm. but next, maybe in the other day, the girls will participate more because if we, you don't participate, okay, you're gonna say this in Spanish. Ustedes aquí a esta clase vienen a participar. No vienen a estar callados. Por eso les decía que oyentes no se admiten. Al menos que eh, por una emergencia. Pero de lo contrario, usted tiene que participar. ¿Okay? Hay, o, o, por ejemplo, esta emergencia a veces que les toca trabajar de noche a última hora, los llaman, ¿verdad? Cosas como esas. O de última hora tuvieron a un familiar que que uh, desafortunadamente falleció o que de repente ustedes se pusieron bien enfermos, no de gripe, porque la gripe da tiempo para que uno pueda tener una clase, no de gripe, enfermos de veras de hospital. Entonces, ahí sí se les puede admitir de, eh, de oyente, pero eh, lo más sano sería que mejor pidieran permiso. Bueno, o lo dijeran, no permiso, porque permiso no hay, acuérdense. Permiso no existe. Sino que avisen a la, a la administradora del grupo que es que este, porque si no, ellos les llaman a las empresas suyas. Ellos llaman a la empresa yo, y, re, y ponen una nota. Perdón. De, ponen una nota. Yo. Ajá. Yo hablé bien? ahora porque yo les dije que yo no entiendo porque del módulo 2 me pasaron al 5, pero no quisieron aceptar, entonces me dijeron que aunque sea de oyente estuviera y que ellos me iban a ayudar pero yo sí ya hablé en la empresa yo fui a decir que apenas un día teníamos y que me habían adelantado mucho y yo no entendía entonces ajá, me dijeron que era ajá. imposible y el que sea de oyente yo tenía que estar, que la, de, algo se me iba a quedar, esas fueron las respuestas de Carla ajá, si no me equivoco, vale. la que estuvo llamando a la empresa. Sí, fíjese de que como, oh, no, eso sí no me habían dicho. Le voy a comentar a ella, oiga. Le voy a sí, porque ella dijo que, que la preguntar. teacher ya sabía, me dijo, ella les va a facilitar a, a ustedes, me dijo, porque ella ya sabe que se hizo este avance del 2 al 5 de un solo. Entonces yo ah, le dije, no, sí, pero yo no quería sabía. aprender a hablar inglés. 
Ajá, no ese, pero ese sí, yo ya hablé. Vaya, alguien más. Y me dijeron que ya habían hablado con usted. Eh, no, fíjese, pero, pero bien, este, aquí estamos para ayudarles. Eh, ya ha parado el asunto, pues, este, pero no cree usted que puede participar. Sí, usted Como le, le digo, yo fui sincera con ella y yo le dije, o sea, yo así no entiendo, yo quería aprender a hablarlo, pero ella me dijo que era imposible, que tenía que aunque sea escuchar y que ellos me iban a estar ayudando en el transcurso del día que yo tuviera tiempo, en la hora de mi almuerzo, hablarme y me van a explicar. Ok, vaya, pero donde usted se sienta como eh, con confianza de participar, pues trate de hacerlo, cuando usted se sienta en confianza. Y eh, por eso decía, ¿verdad? Y yo no sé si hay alguien más en ese caso. ¿Hay alguien más en la clase con ese caso? Que por esa razón los han dejado de oyente. Es que han, eh, en el módulo anterior me pusieron a mí eh, hacia abajo oyente, ¿verdad? Y estaban aparte. Y eso ya sabía yo yo que es así era. Pero en este caso no me aparecen. Entonces me van a disculpar por no... Vaya, entonces, ¿qué hace Rosilla? Ok. Gracias. Eh, eh, ok, finish the activity. Let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see. Who is in the class? María Jesús, can you please turn on the camera? Verónica Lisset, turn on the camera. María Elena, turn on the camera, please. Marvin, turn on the camera. Verónica Lisset, turn on the camera. Um, only. I'm going to put the attendance, guys. Say present. Alexandra Michel. Alma Rocío. Ana Silvia. Presente, Che. Valmore. Present, present. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Emerson. Emerson. Eric. Jacob. Present teacher. Jorge. Yulisa. María Elena. María Jesús. Present. María Oswaldo. María María Jesús. Present. Eh, María Oswaldo. Marvin. Present. Melissa. Present teacher. Um, Monica Maricela. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay, guys. That's it. Now let's begin with the content for today. And. No, 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 no. Oh, Veronica. Veronica. Yes, I mentioned it. Ay, que me falla, perdón, Verónica dice que está aquí estoy, present. Let me see, Verónica, Verónica. Ah, sorry, I didn't finish. Okay, Verónica dice que está aquí, present, right? Eh, Verónica dice Sánchez. No, right. Eh, Wilfredo. Present. Present. Okay, let's continue, guys, with the class. And 
Okay, as I told you, what is the topic for today is how to use imperatives. Imperatives, okay, now we are going to practice the vocabulary for today. You want new words? What are the new words? Okay, in charge, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, specifications, ground, Funnel, defective, unplug, pour, oil level, label, label. Okay, now before we practice the pronunciation, let me uh, check <clears throat> if you understand the meaning in Spanish. Okay, for you guys, what is in charge? To be responsible of something, to be in charge. Yeah, to be responsible of something. A conveyor belt. Conveyor, conveyor belt. Okay, if you don't know is cinta transportadora. Okay, if you know something about uh, factories, about processing a product, you will understand what is cinta transportadora. Okay, specifications. Especificaciones. Yeah, all the products have specifications. Round. What is ground? As far as I remember, it means tierra. Yeah, it means tierra, suelo. Okay. All of this. All that is in the surface. Piso, suelo, tierra. Okay. That is grama also. Okay, what is funnel? In Budo, defective? Defectuoso. Yeah, unplugged? Defecto. Unplugged? Desconectar. Uh -huh. Like a desconectar, right? Or? Can be an electric core, can be a plastic core. What is core? Okay, cuerda. <laughs> cuerda. Eh, es cuerda, right? And oil level? Nivel de aceite. Nivel de aceite. Yeah. Nivel de aceite. This is, you can find this in the machines, in the car, right? <laughs> Label. Etiqueta. No etiqueta. Ajá. Etiquetar. Nombrar. Okay. Yes. That is the vocabulary for today. Now, imperatives. Okay, look at the pictures we have here. What it is, push, ah, sorry, but we didn't practice the previous, okay? Everybody repeat, in charge. In charge. In charge. In charge. 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 In charge. Conveyor, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. belt. Specifications. Specifications. Round. Ground. Ground. Funnel. Funnel. Effective. Effective. Unplow. Unplow. Plow. Core. 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 Oil Core. level. Oil, Oil level. levels. Label. <coughs> Label. Label. Now we can go to the next. Imperatives. Okay, look at the picture and listen what it is, okay? Push, 
this red button. Grab a pair of tongs. Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this shirt. Place the defective chocolate. Fill in a report. Okay, everybody repeat. Push this red button. Push, push, push red this, red button. Red button. this red button. Grab a pair of tongs. Grab a pair of, Grab a pair of, 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 tongs. of tongs. Pick every piece of chocolate. Pick, Pick every, every piece of, piece of, chocolate. of chocolate. Read this chart. Read the chart. Play the defective chocolate. Play the defective chocolate. Fill in my report. Fill in report. Okay. Uh, they are imperative. So when you say it, you say in the imperative way. For example, you say, push this red button, grab a pair of stones, pick every piece of chocolate, read the chart, play the defective chocolate, fill in an report, like a that, right? Because they are commands and they are in the imperative form. Okay, before we go and explain more about the imperatives, uh, let's practice the conversation that it has imperatives in the manual. Okay, if you have the manual. Look at the manual. Okay, here we have a conversation. Look at the mark words. Okay, push the red button. Grab a pair of stones. Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this shirt. Check every piece. I didn't include this, but it's very easy. Play the defective chocolate, fill in a report. Okay, now I'm going to read once, then you repeat with me. Listen. Hello, Mr. Roman. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do you start? Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, play the defective chocolate in this panel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, now everybody repeat. Hello, Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Today, today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. My, my, my name is Nunez. 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 Miss Nunez, right? Miss Nunez. Miss Nunez. Miss Nunez. And I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. I am I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Production line. Production line. Production line. Production line. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Miss Nunez. Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Where, Where do we, we start? start? First, yes. first, you are in charge. You are in charge. You are in charge. Of stopping the conveyor belt. Or stopping the conveyor belt. Please. 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 Push this red button. Push, push this, this red, red button. Second, 
Second. Second. Grab a pair of tongs. Grab a pair of Grab a pair of tongs. And pick every piece of chocolate. And pick, pick every, every piece, piece of chocolate. Of chocolate. Read the chart. Read the chart. And check every piece. And check and every, check piece. every check piece. piece. Make sure. Make, make sure. sure. Each meets the specifications in this chart. It it needs the specification in this chart. Third, third, third. play the affected chocolate. Place the affected chocolate in this panel. In this panel. Finally, finally, fill in a report. Fill in a report. At the end of the day, about the affected pieces. At the end, the end of the day, day about, about the defective pieces. Okay, guys, if you don't have the, the manual, take a capture in this moment, please. Teacher, somebody wants to comment. Okay, I want to stop sharing. Yes, everybody who wants to say something. Quien quiere participar? Quien levantó la mano? Ah, Balmore. Balmore. Yes, Balmore. Yes. Do you, uh, do you want to participate in the conversation? Uh, Maria, oh wait, Maria. first Maria. we are going to practice in the workout in the breakout rooms. Then you participate in the class. Yes. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. <laughs> Maria Jesus, go to the breakout room, please. Edwin and Monica Maricela. Edwin. Edwin, are you there? I said, Eh, ya aceptó la invitación para ir a practicar. Hi, teacher. Acepte la invitación para ir a practicar con su compañero. Ya la acepté, pero cuando la acepté me sacó. Ah, ok. Me sacó bueno, de la plataforma. Entonces me volví a entrar. Ok. Monica?
what happened, Wilfredo? Sorry, teacher, I was alone in the break room. Oh, let me check who. Um, you were alone, alone, alone. Wait a minute, please. I'm going to see if he, he, Jacobo is with somebody. Okay. <clears throat> First, you, you are in search. From major bill place, push this red button. Second, grab a pile of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Rev this chart and check every place. Make sure H meets the specification in this in this chart, dear. Place to the de detective chocolate in the this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the detective pie pieces. <clears throat> ¿Lo hacemos otra vez? Pero hay más Wilfredo también. Está bien, solo, solo hay que intercambiarse, compañeros. Okay. Hacerlo al revés. Ah, ah ok. El cambio, entonces. Vaya, ahora usted. Okay. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the bread line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the com mayor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, please detective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the today about the defective piece. Okay. Price of chocolate. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hello. Are you Está. presenting? Are you presenting the mano? <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Estamos. Mire, pero estamos viendo que quizás como que están. Hay un error en el libro, ¿va? O así va la conversación. Uh, uh, where is it? Eh, por ejemplo, um, donde dice Miss, hello, Mr. Rolando, today is your first day at the plane. Ahí creo yo que termina la oración, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, pero aquí en, en mi libro me sale que donde es Núñez, comienza the plane, my name is Núñez. Ahí. O solo yo lo tendré así. No, 
pues no sé dónde vaya, por ejemplo, aquí dice mis nuñas, ¿verdad? Mis nuñas dice todo esto. Ajá. Todo eso dice mis nuñas. Dice, Ajá, hello, pero... Mr. Roland, today is your first day at the plant. My name is Núñez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Uh -huh. Eso dice Miss Núñez, y está saludando a Mr. Roland. Ajá, pero, o sea, el Mr. Núñez comenzaría desde donde dice, my name is Miss Núñez. O sea, todo esto lo dice Miss Núñez. Todo esto. Desde, desde hello hasta production Ajá, line. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Porque ella está hablando con Mr. Roland y como que lo está introduciendo a, a su nuevo día, porque es el primer día. ¿va? Ok, bueno, está bien. Ok, gracias. Okay. ok, see you. A ver, si gusta, eh, Silvia, empezar. poco más a, 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 a la gente. Sí, como le decía compañera, este, ¿qué entiende usted sobre la conversación? ¿Del primer párrafo lo entiende? Sí, sí lo entiendo. Eh, es la presentación, ¿verdad? De que está llegando como su primer día y que Ajá. debe explicar acerca de la línea de producción. Y después se presenta, ¿verdad? Y que cómo va a empezar y en, la último, en el último par, párrafo, perdón, le va explicando y ya aparecen los... Ay, los que estamos viendo ahorita, que las dicho dijo... Eh, permítame. Los la imperativos. Palabra, imperativos. Ajá, la palabra... Porque la palabra que sí le, entiendo es la de conveyor. Ella le explicó, era caminadora, si no me equivoco. Ah, Ay, caminadora. Sí, si no me equivoco, es lo que me ha dado. Sí, yo creo que sí, es esa era. Entonces, como usa una supervivencia de la clase, de ahí en esas que están justamente resaltadas en ahorita, Push the Red Button, que es un imperativo, están ahí como bien identificados. Esos son uh -huh. los imperativos. Uh -huh. Los imperativos. Imperativos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Es que yo como ya de tarde, tardecito me meto. Uh -huh. No, yo sé, yo sé. Hello, yo, yo guys. Sé de... I am listening to you. Los estoy escuchando. Eh, Emerson, usted entró uh -huh. tarde. Sí, teacher, es que como vengo en tráfico y no andaba datos. Ah, es que Entonces... sí, el vocabulario siempre lo explico antes. Y lo que usted preguntaba, conveyor belt, es cinta transportadora. Ah, es, ok. Y, o sea, es algo que se usa para... Eh, en la, en la fabricación del producto o sea, algo Ajá, es, es como una maquinita que transporta las cosas o no Ajá, pero esa es la cinta Ajá, sí, ya okay. Ya sé cuál Gracias, teacher yo... Ya aquí más o menos me estaba explicando Hi, teacher. Ya nos sacó. O todavía no. No le escucho, teacher. I'm gonna do it in this moment. Ah, ok. Es que mi compañera no está. Yes, I know. She's out. Ella ya se salió. Ya está afuera. Ya. Ok. Ah, ok.
una preguntita, este, como a varios no los conozco bien todavía y veo como este, de repente me ponen gente y yo no sé si es que van a participar o no. Este, pero así, a grosso modo, porque si este, no ponen la cámara, tampoco sé si están. Eh, ¿Ustedes cómo, cómo van sintiendo la clase? ¿Sienten que les cuesta? Mm, so far, so good, teacher. Ahí es Jesús, ahí no me dice nada, ¿verdad? Eh, es que por ratos mmm, no entendemos muchas veces, eh, eh, digamos, que los ejercicios. Entonces, por eso que tal vez por eso nos quedamos callados. Ajá, pero no tengan pena. Ustedes aquí son, mandan, ¿verdad? Uno de, nosotros nos dicen facilitadores. ¿pa? Facilitador quiere decir que facilita. Es decir, si ustedes no entienden algo, digan, que pregunten, no tengan pena. Lo primero que tienen que perder ustedes es la... Es la pena. Si usted tiene pena, muy difícilmente va a aprender a hablar en inglés. Muy difícilmente. La pena es la primera que tienen que perder para todo. Si usted no entiende algo, pregunte. No se sienta mal que porque sus compañeros van a decir que usted no entendió. Porque eh, aquí todos, ¿no? ustedes creen de que si alguien está aquí es porque puede. No, ¿verdad? Todos están aquí porque quieren aprender. Y esta es parte del proceso. Si ustedes hacen un error, por ejemplo, cuando están participando, mi deber es corregir, pero no porque quiero hacer sentir mal a nadie, sino para ayudarlos. Es parte del proceso. El error es para ayudar, es en parte del proceso para aprender. Es más, hasta es mejor a veces que hay errores, fíjense, porque así se corrigen y aprenden más. Entonces, no tenga pena de participar porque va a cometer un error parte del proceso. No tengan preguntar, no tenga pena en preguntar si no entendió algo, también es parte del proceso. Ok, entonces, a veces cuando ustedes no, no contestan, eso es lo que yo entiendo, que no me entendieron lo que, pero como no me lo dicen, y ahí, y ahí sí que hago. Entonces yo trato de ir preguntando, ¿verdad? Y este, voy avanzando. Este el tema de hoy, está un poquito fácil, creo yo. Espérate. Hay que aprovechar de soltarse, de, de participar lo más que se pueda. Ya van a ver, si ustedes se sueltan a participar, ya van a ver cómo van a ir aprendiendo. Si usted se queda calladito, no va a perder, nunca va a perder el miedo, no va a aprender, porque se aprende practicándolo, se aprende diciéndolo, haciéndolo. Porque eso de hablar inglés es una habilidad. Y las habilidades son hacerlas. No es un conocimiento del que solo se va a quedar en, en la cabeza, ¿no? Hay que decir, hay que practicarlo. ¿Okay? Entonces los motivo que por favor no tengan pena, pregunten cuando no entienden algo, por favor. Ok, now everybody. Eh, the conversation, ok. Primero voy nombrando a los que me van apareciendo aquí y ustedes van a ir llamando a su compañero, ok. A Pablo, say the conversation with your partner. Okay, teacher. Eh, my partner, ¿dónde está? Mm, voy. Yo soy. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, and you first. O, o yo primero. No sé. Yes. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day in the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. <clears throat> where do we start? <clears throat> first, you are in shirt of stopping the conveyor belt. <clears throat> Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. 
may your measure age meet the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the de defective piece. Okay, it was nice participation. <clears throat> Only the word embudo is funnel, right? Funnel. Okay, let's continue with Carlos. Carlos and your partner. Uh, Oscar Santos is my parent. Sí, pues. Ajá. <laughs> Empiezo yo. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Núñez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Where do we start? First, you are in chair of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in the funnel finally fill a report on the end on of the days about the defective pieces all right you see you can do it okay by speaking you can do it good for you oscar and carlos Okay, continue, Edwin, and your partner. Okay, my partner is Marvin Garcia. Go ahead, Marvin. Okay, um, I'm gonna start. Hello, Ms. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the prelog line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification is discharged. Third, please detective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the detective piece. Excellent. Marvin, you have a good pronunciation. And Edwin, of course, is improving. The only thing that I don't like on Edwin is that he's very serious. <laughs> You're very serious, Edwin. Really? Are you tired? Está cansado, Edwin. Uh, so so. So so. So so. Okay. Uh, let me see who is next. Balmore. Balmore. You and your partner, please. Uh, Rocio. Rocio. <laughs> okay. You can do it, Rocio. You can do it. <laughs> Yes. Sin miedo, Rocío. Yo empiezo, usted empieza. ¿Va a empezar usted o yo? Uh, Hello, Mr. Froland. Today is, is your first day at ah, usted, okay. Um, 
Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do you start? First, you are in the charge of stopping the convert bay. Please push this red button. Second grad, a part of tongues in fit every piece of chocolate. Read this chart in check every piece. My source urge meet the specification in this chart. The please the detective defective chocolate and this funnel finally will um, in in report on. Um, At the, the end, end of the day, at the end of the day, about the um, end of the day, I, about about the the detective. Sí, files. lo dije, pero no sé si se escuchó. <laughs> no, no. Se me cortó la señal, creo. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yes, no, maybe that happened. Okay, next, Silvia. Silvia and your partner. But about before, excellent, Rocio. You see, you can do it. Thank you. <laughs> Alguien que no pudiera nada, nada, no hubiera dicho eso. No, si de, de verdad no puedo. Mira, al principio tenía miedo porque ahí hasta de, <laughs> de call center y yo sin saber. Pero igual, ahí vamos a ir. <laughs> ah, yo yo le digo por, porque yo he tenido varias gente que es principiante, principiante y no dice eso. Y usted bien lo dijo. Ok. Gracias. Ana Silvia. With Melissa. With Melissa. 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 Okay. No sé Melissa. Radio bien. Ah, que ahí está. Yeah, I see. I can see her. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Empiezo yo. Ah, oh. como quiera. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day on the plane. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must to use the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do you we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conversion deal. Please push this red button. Second, grab a spray of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read to the chart and check every piece. Make sure a smith says specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this one. Finally, film a report at the end of the day about the defective prices. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Uh, who is missing? Maria Jesus, are you missing? Yes. Hi teacher, I'm here. In your partner? Eh, tenía dos compañeras, pero ninguna se conectó a practicar. Ah, ok. Pero ya se puede practicar. <laughs> ok. Eh, ¿Con usted? Set, eh, ¿With your partner? Ay, no sé cómo. Se... Verónica Lizette Serna. Hola, o Sánchez. Eh, no, you, Serna. Y con Verónica okay. Lizette Sánchez, I didn't listen, but she was in the class. Yo creo que era con Emerson y Lee, no sé si él está. But you were with Emerson, right? Okay. Verónica Serna, you are going to do it with María Jesús. María Jesús, you are Miss Núñez and Verónica is Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Do it, please. I'm, I'm Miss Nunez. You are Miss Nunez. Okay. 
Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nguyen, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nguyen. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, please the detective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the detective thesis. Good, you did it well. Okay, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Maria Jesus, you, have, you are fluent. You, you are not so slow, you are fluent. Okay, thank you. And uh, now continue guys, I want to explain a little bit about uh, what is, what you can say about imperatives. Okay, what is imperatives? What is that? It's a request. Okay, when you want to ask a request, un favor, right? We are asking someone to do something. It's an instruction. We are telling some, someone what to do. Uh, what is the structure? In the affirmative, you have the verb and you have the complement. For example, you have close the door, label the image, unplug the machine. Okay, so it's a request or it's an instruction. Es una solicitud de un favor o es una instrucción, right? You, the teachers give, the teachers use imperatives. They say, Maria Jesus, participate in the class. Participate in the class. That is a, an imperative. Uh, Melissa, turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. That is an imperative, right? Teachers, uh, bosses in the factories, Los jefes en la, en la fábrica, right? Bosses in general. Managers use imperatives to the employees. Okay, you see the affirmative. In the negative, you use don't, verb, and complement. Don't read the message. No le seré los celulares a los novios. Ah. Don't read the message. Usted no quiere sentirse mal, mejor no lo lea. Okay, don't read the message. Don't push the green button. Okay, don't push. Okay, in the affirmative is something you do. In the negative is something that you don't have to do. Is clear, guys, the imperatives? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, I hope so. Now we are going to complete some exercise. Here you have an exercise. Uh, you have the verbs, don't touch, write, install, be, don't order, repeat, open, listen, order, and call. You write the verbs according to what you think is the correct. Okay, is clear the exercise? Yes. Okay, yes. do it please in this moment. But uh, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, Wilfredo, you give me the answer number one. 
Maria and Jesus, you give me the two. Edwin, you give me the three. Give me the three. It's an imperative, right? And Jacobo, four. Carlos, five. Balmore, six. Ana Silvia, seven. And Melissa, eight. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay, begin. What is in the first? Right. Right. Second. Don't touch. Don't touch. Number three. Open. Open. Number four. Call. Call. Number five. Don't touch. Don't touch again. Mm. Are you sure you don't touch? Let's write don't touch. Then we are going to see which is more convenient. Number two is cold. No. Oh. Do, do you think it's called my mobile phone? I think the number two is correct. Okay, number six. Install. 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 Remember the stress? Okay, it's a part. The stress is in the second. Install. Install. Okay, the number seven. Don't order. Don't not order. Don't what? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't listen to that. Don't order. Don't mm -hmm. order. Yes. Okay. Don't order. Teacher, me voy a salir un ratito a traer una referencia del hospital. Ya regreso. Okay. In the number eight. Say what is used on the order and then watch it. No, it doesn't matter. Say it. Don't order. Don't order. That yes. is. Okay. If it is, maybe it's logic. Okay, in the number one, we have write your names, correct. Number two, don't touch my mobile phone, correct. Three, open your books at page 20, so perfect. Number four, call a taxi for me, please. It's good. Number five, don't touch careful, uh, no logic, right? What is better to say here in the number five? Be. Be, be careful. Be careful, yes. Be careful. In number six, install these programmers on the computer. Good. Okay. Seven. Don't order the flowers, please. Mm. What is missing? You didn't use water, right? Water. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's better here. Water than number seven. Seven. Uh huh. Water. Water. The plants, water, the flowers. 
And then number eight, don't order coffee. I don't like it. That is good. And number eight was good. Okay, everybody. Congratulations. You did it well. Now we are going to do it. What we are going to do is the exercise in the manual. In the manual, page 14, page 14, if you have the manual. Okay, here uh, is another explanation that is in the book. Use imperatives to give an order. Close the door. Open the door, open the window, give me the book. Okay, it's an order to give instructions. Okay. You can say, complete the exam, participate in class. Okay, give instructions to make invitations, go home, go to the park. Okay, imperative do not have a subject. You say, eh, open the door, no subject, right? No subject, no hay, no hay un sujeto, right? No subject. Example, read this chart and check every piece. Number two, fill in a report about the defective pieces. Number three, Unplug this cord and connect the blue web. Number four, verify the oil level. Okay, we already see uh, study this in the conversation and the vocabulary. Now you do the exercise. You label, you label the steps, right? Look at the diagram. What is in the middle? Chocolate, chocolate. And look at the diagram of how this chocolate pulp is made. La label each step in order using the words in the diagram. So what you are going to do is use these words and complete here according to what you consider is correct. Do it please. Teacher, que es yes. assembly. Assembly. Assemble. Assemble. Ensemble. Assemble. Okay. Thank you. I want to look this word. <coughs> Listen the pronunciation of this word. Assemble. 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 Ready, guys? Are you ready?
Jorge Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Yes, yes, almost sure. Okay. Can you share your, do you have the, the manual in your computer? Yes. Can you, I can. can you share and write the answers? But your classmates are going to see the answers and you write the answers. Mm, okay. Mix. I'm gonna stop sharing. Teacher, en este vamos a, a, a completar oh, eh, con lo que dice arriba. Yes. Entonces en el segundo sería mix. Y en el number two. Yes. Uh -huh. But with Fredo is sharing, right? But with Fredo is missing the number two. Uh, Balmore say the answer, Wilfredo. Okay, uh, what is the answer for number two, Balmore? ¿Cuál era la número dos, Balmore? Ah, uh, mix, 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 mezcla. Okay. That is wrong. That's incorrect. In number three, call another student. Oh. Grow. Ground. Number three, ground, number three. Ground. Ground. Okay, the number three. The powder with meal. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Yeah, can you ask another student? And example the powder which milk. Assemble. Assemble. No sería como check. Check. Check yeah. If you see if you notice you Hola. have seven words. Seven words and here you have eight sentences. One is repeated. You can oh. repeat one. Mix. Exactly. Mix. Sí, estaba bien como lo había dejado. <laughs> <laughs> Usted lo borró, yo no sé. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Let me see. The answers are the number one, separate. The number two is mix. And number three, ground. Number four, mix again. Number uh, five, assemble. Assemble. Number, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. And number six is form. Number seven is label. And then number eight is form. You know, check, sorry. No, they're not. Uh, it's check. <laughs> I was reading, but here is check. Okay, it's okay. Now you have number one, separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. What is raw materials? I didn't include this in the vocabulary, but what is raw materials? The principal Material materials, prima. material prima. Yeah, materia prima. Right. Mix all the ingredients. 
to make the chocolate tablet. What is a chocolate tablet? Is ground the cocoa beans into powder. Okay, mix the powder with milk. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Form a simple paste. Label the package. Shake quality and quality control. That's it. Uh, can you read the sentences, Oscar? Sí, tome nota. Ah, perdón. Read this. Read the sentences here in the in the screen. Oscar, look at the screen and read in the screen. Mm -hmm. No lo entiendo, teacher. En la pantalla. Ajá, madre, dígame. La presentación. Sí, debo de leer. Yeah, read, read. Ah. Empiezo por separate. Yeah, read the four, the ah, okay. eight. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Next. Yeah, continue. And mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Uh, ground the cocoa beans into powder. Mix the powder with milk. Uh, assemble the chocolate package to finish. For a simple, simple paste. Simple. Label. Paste. Yeah. Label the package checks qualities in the quality control. Okay, only here, okay. Raw materials, raw materials, ingredients, ingredients, powder, Ingredi uh -huh. powder, with powder, uh -huh. with milk, package. With pa milk. Package. Simple. Powder with milk. Mm. Mm -hmm. Simple paste. Simple paste. Only that. Okay. Fish. Thank you, fish. Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. Can you stop sharing, Wilfredo? Yes, of course. Okay, now we are gonna go to the video in the video that I sent. Remember the video in the WhatsApp? Okay, only one thing. Eh, <clears throat> vaya, eh, lo voy a explicar así en español para que el, porque es un procedimiento. Eh, ustedes van a, a accesar a su WhatsApp, van a escuchar su video, pero todos tienen que tener el el micrófono apagado en el momento que lo escuchen porque no se puede escuchar en la clase por cuestiones de autor entonces lo vamos a escuchar ustedes van a tener cinco minutos para escucharlo y tratar de, de, de retomar los más imperativos que ustedes escuchen cuando terminemos ustedes me, uno por uno le voy a preguntar cuál ustedes oyeron o cuál se les quedó ok when I say go to the WhatsApp and watch the video. Okay, do it. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Eh, este es el video de, de imperatives, el que vamos a ver yes. ahorita. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Five okay. minutes, five minutes. Okay, do it.
Okay, the time is over. Stop the video. Stop the video. Okay. Jacobo, tell me one. Okay, teacher. Uh, don't ask me to change. No, don't, no, cry, no. don't cry for me, Argentina. Eh, Lily, don't ever do that. Creo que cierra. Por eso. Ok, ya. Yeah, cool. eh, Wilfredo, what do you have? Um, be careful. Or sit. Yes, only one, but if you want to say more, you can do it. Oh, ok. Sit, be careful, say something, listen up, don't try for me, don't ask me to change, get in here now, don't tell me, turn back, don't ever do that, stay here, keep up of trouble, don't ever again, uh, don't ever again, keep that kind of, um, don't be late, let's go and run away. Almost everything, Wilfredo. Almost everything. <laughs> okay, Van Moren, tell me one. Uh, bro, kill him. He's now your grandma. Okay, kill him. You listen, kill him. Don't worry. Uh, ah, okay, oh. more. First, learn to say this. Uh, let's get up of here. Okay, let's get up of here. Carlos? Please stop calling me. Close the door. Uh, Come back, no, pardon. Who's good to be? Tell about how you feel only. Oscar. Okay, teacher. Listen up again. Tell me, believe, first learn, and please stop. Okay, Maria Jesus. Okay. Don't be late. Talk about how you feel. Come back to reality. Uh, run away. Tell me. Just go to bed. Good. Rocio, do you, do you want to tell me something? Quiere decirme algo? Good car. That's good. Sit. El white side number. Who's good? me what chance he come with me excellent edwin uh, okay be careful listen up don't cry for me don't be late don't be late uh, just give me just give me one chance he run away only okay you know what i noticed that uh, don't cry for me argentina what is the most common Okay, Madonna, yes. I impress you. Okay, she's a, an excellent singer. Melissa? Melissa, Melissa. Do you have one uh, imperative based on the video? I always remember everybody gets in well now. Don't ever again. Give that king of order. Stewards learn to use this. Okay, Emerson. Emerson. Jorge, I don't know, but because he's new today and he's oyente. Veronica Lizeth Serna. Uh, 
I'm here, teacher, uh, don't tell me. And the other one, you know, should be a good boy. Okay, Marvin. Uh, don't be late. Be careful. Go get some rest. Thank you, Marvin. Ana Silvia? Are you there, Ana Silvia? Hola. And do you have in the imperatives? Come, come with me, your graphic. I, only that. Okay, thank you, Ana Silvia. We have only 12 minutes. In these 12 minutes, we make a conversation, practice a conversation uh, in the breakout rooms. The conversation is about uh, how you, okay, I'm gonna read the instructions <laughs> better. You create a conversation using imperatives to order or give instructions to manufacture a product. Okay, in the conversation say, hello, how are you? Are you new? Something like that. And immediately you are give instructions. Give instructions uh, to manufacture a product. Because we don't have much time, only give me three instructions about product. Okay, I'm gonna check in the breakout rooms. Okay. We ready, please. Is clear the, the the activity? Is it clear what you are going to do? A conversation? Give three instructions about how to make a product, about the manufacture of a product. Okay. Little conversation, not not too much. Eh, entré aquí rápido porque vi que había quedado con Yulisa y me parece que Yulisa si sí no ha contestado. No. No está, ¿verdad? No, ya. no está. Y la ubico con alguien más. Ok. Bueno. Le entendió. Hola. Hola. Le entendió. No, no entendí lo que dijo. Y me pasó para acá porque la otra chica no está conectada. Vaya, le voy a explicar entonces. Eh, vamos a hacer una pequeña conversación que solamente me van a dar tres instrucciones de cómo hacer un producto. Pero instrucciones, ¿verdad? así usando los imperativos. 
eh, seleccionen un producto, de, puede ser de los que ya usaron, porque antes ya hicieron prácticas con hacer productos. Y diga así como que, digamos, si van a hacer un, unas pupusas, van a pupusas que han puesto acá anteriormente. Entonces va a decir, hello, eh, Ana Silvia, ok, eh, how, how do we start, por ejemplo, how do we start, como comenzamos. Um, Ana Silvia dice, um, it's an example, right, it's an example. Mm -hmm. First, prepare the dough. First, prepare the dough, o sea, primero prepare la masa. Ok. First, second, um, me uh, put some water to the dog and then o sea, me the cheese con, with the beans. Como diálogo, teacher. Ah, solo tres instrucciones porque no podemos hacer algo mucho. Entonces, de las pupusas le he dado el ejemplo. Pero, ok, okay seleccione otro. Que no sea pero está claro cómo es. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Solo las instrucciones, pero no quiere la conversación. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Perfecto. Con, con qué con qué empiezo a ser mayor de clase now ahora manda digo Verónica es en de clase now sí 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 the, is it clear how you are going to do the conversation una consulta teacher este verdad que tenemos que crear una conversación aunque no sea utilizando los mismos las mismas palabras que se nos dieron o, o tiene que ser esas mismas no, con solo que use los imperatives ah ok, perfecto solo que use los imperatives no puede decir lo que usted quiera ah ok, ok vaya boca, entonces usted me puede sí. responder como hey Ahí, para que le tomen la captura. Max. You are ready, guys. Let me see another part if they have it. Don't use dangerous, but it can't be Thank you, Rochon. Ahí lo, lo estoy poniendo en el chat. Ese sería como el 2. Vaya, sería usar el, el equipo adecuado. Ser cuidadoso de usar el equipo adecuado. No usar eh, químicos peligrosos. Químico peligroso. Y un tercero, solo tres, digo, lo he dicho. Solo tres. Yes. Do you think, ah. do you, think you are, are you ready? Solo nos falta uno, teacher. 
pero en el chat estamos poniendo los dos pasos que llevamos ahorita, no sé si le puedo dar una chequeada y nos dice si estamos bien. Let me see in the chat. Don't use dangerous chemical. Only one ¿Mm? you have. Don't use El primero no dangerous lo chemical. Don't use. Así sería. It's, it's okay. Don't use dangerous chemical. It's okay. But you sí, have only one. Que... No le aparece. Lo voy a volver a escribir. Be careful the why is it so we use Okay, be careful to use the right equipment. It's okay too. Okay, una más nos quedaría, ¿verdad? It's nice. Okay, gracias. I'm happy because you finish very fast. <laughs> Malmore and Jacobo, you are ready. You are ready to. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yo no entendí, no sé qué. No sé qué leímos allá porque no entendí qué era. Nosotros hicimos el diálogo siguiente, teacher. No sé si era eso. Y yo diciendo este, que estaba Berta feliz. Peter. Diciendo que estaba feliz que habían terminado. Es que yo, yo entendí el diálogo y de ahí nos mandó. Pero yo entendí que yo, nosotros nos pusimos a hacer el otro diálogo. Voy a guardar así. Alexandra Michelle no, no, no vino, ¿verdad? Eh, Emerson sí, ¿verdad? Emerson, let me see. Yes, teacher. Yes. It's here. Emerson, ok. Eh, Jorge, I don't know, but... Jorge. Jorge. Yulisa, I remember that Yulisa is in the class, but she doesn't say present. Y Verónica Lisset, Sánchez. Present, ah, perdón, Perna, present. Sánchez, present. Okay, Omar Oswaldo is his absent, or he didn't say present. And Alexandra Michelle is absent. Okay, everybody's free here before we go to the, before we leave the class, uh, stay Alma Rocio, okay. Alma Rocio, Alma Rocio, Sí, te va a quedar conmigo después que la clase termine, ¿ok? Bueno, está bien. Vamos a conocernos, ¿ok? <ríe> eh, let's see. Ah, Jacobo, you are nervous. <ríe> Look at you, are, how you are moving that. Ok, begin, Wilfredo. Eh, en... María. En María. Uh, okay, uh, good evening. Hello, my name is Miss Maria. I'm going to explain you about you how you make a swerve. First, pass the cut of fabric in the sewing machine. Second, send the piece in the ink pad machine and finally package the product. Label it as send the shipping department. Good, excellent. Now, uh, what is the, Jacob is the next, but I don't see Jacob. Leave the class, Jacob. Okay, Carlos, sing your partner. Uh, Marvin Arias. 
Marvin. Okay, inicio yo. Um, good morning, my name is Marvin Garcia, and today I show you how to make a pair of shoes. Hello, Marvin. I am Carlos. Nice to meet you. Show me. First, you have to select the raw materials. Okay, and then what I have to do? Then you have to select the colors and style up to your shoes. Oh, sound great. Tell me more. Okay, then you have to create your favorite shoes. Thank you. Finish. <laughs> okay, uh, if there is someone who is missing, I'm going to listen to you tomorrow because today the class is over. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Then see you. Good night, everybody. Okay. Bye, Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Cuídate, Rocío. Valmore, Liv, Rocío, Alon. Eh, bueno. que somos, somos compañeros, entonces por eso le estoy deseando suerte. Ah, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo que a Chavita? Ah, Nada, son bromas, son bromas. Aquí usted va a Good night, good night. Good night, good night. See you tomorrow, Valmore. See you tomorrow. Bueno, aquí ha quedado un, una persona, Jorge, pero él es, eh, entró así como oyente, pero en realidad no está en la clase. Entonces, bueno. este, el Rocío, eh, como fíjese de que eh, no sabía yo que usted era el oyente, este, pero fíjese de que ha participado bastante bien, yo siento. Porque no crea que todos aquí son bilingües, ¿no? Si todos están aprendiendo. O sea, si usted dice que del 2 lo pasaron al 5, va, pero ya en el 2 ya podía. ¿Sí? No, no es que era cero. Palmore y yo, porque trabajamos ahí, ¿verdad? Los dos. Entonces los, a los dos nos han movido hasta aquí, porque dijeron que eran los únicos dos que habían salido seleccionados. Ah, ajá, pero cero, ajá. cero no están. Pero veo que él entiende más. <risas> ajá, vaya, entonces, este, no sé yo qué, porque los 10 minutos que le dan es para preguntarles qué, qué es lo que les costó. Vaya, a, la mí lo que me cuesta, a mí lo que me cuesta es entender qué es lo que usted dice. Ajá, mi inglés. Cuando usted habla en inglés, exacto, o sea, yo no entiendo el inglés aún, no sé leerlo, le puedo entender algunas palabras, pero si usted, así como usted habla, yo no entiendo. Sí, me entiendo hasta que usted me dice en español y yo trato de hacer lo que usted dice, pero de lo contrario no le entiendo. Uh -huh. Sí, fíjese de que como eh, en el nivel 1, por ejemplo, se les habla bastante español, y aunque no debería de ser, fíjese. Solamente se hace... Sí, porque nivel 1 y 2 solo español nos hablaron. Ajá, porque es inglés para el trabajo y uno entiende Ajá. que ustedes eh, pasan todo el día trabajando, tienen poco tiempo, pero... Y que como eh, todavía no entienden bien, uno como que los chinchenea más en el nivel 1. Pero ya, <risa> yo cuando tuve el nivel 1, yo les dije en las primeras clases, por ejemplo, la primera semana, bastante español. La siguiente semana yo les dije, mientras vayan pasando las otras la semanas, voy incrementando más el inglés. Y la última semana voy a tratar de hablarles completamente en inglés. Les dije yo, va. Pero resulta uh -huh. que al final no, no pude. Siempre seguí hablando bastante español. Ya en el nivel 2, pues hay que ir incrementando solo hablarle más en inglés. Porque los cursos de inglés, en realidad, si usted va a una academia, por ejemplo... Bueno, no voy a decir nombres aquí porque cuestiones, ¿verdad? Pero otras. Desde el primer día es full English. Completamente en inglés. Entonces, ¿cuál es la clave que yo le voy a dar? Usted tome, la, tome las palabras lo más que pueda. O sea, usted escuche 
bien lo que yo digo y capte las palabras más que pueda. Con esas Ajá. pocas palabras, usted agarre una idea, como que va adivinando, ¿verdad? Va adivinando y fórmese una idea más o menos de lo que se quiere. Y fíjese bastante en las imágenes, lo que está escrito. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo estoy explicando en el manual una, un ejercicio, pues ahí está escrito lo que dice. Yo lo imprimí. Ajá. El primero que nos mandó en el PDF ya lo, ya lo tengo imprimido. Ajá, entonces yo trato una, de entender. Una sugerencia que yo le voy a dar es como yo voy a estar mandando en el WhatsApp, si usted vio hoy, mandé la presentación. Mandé también el video y usted tiene el manual. Entonces, si puede, no digo, ah, porque si sí, vea la presentación que yo voy a enviar, porque eso es lo que yo, yo ya la había visto, hasta la copié. Ajá, Hasta la copié, lo, cada oración que, que salía a... ahí, yo la copié. Y si puede adelantar buscando vocabulario en, ahí en Google Translator, entonces ya va a ver cómo va a ir mejorando. O sea, si va en sí. avanzada, porque hay personas que van clase por clase, no ven nada antes, ¿verdad? Pero son personas que ya están un poquito más avanzadas y como que... No les cuesta la clase porque ellos ya han recibido antes o qué sé yo, por alguna razón ya pueden un poquito. Pero si a la persona le cuesta y se siente que se va quedando en la clase, lo ideal es que siempre estudie antes. Entonces bueno. yo con ese propósito siempre les envío, les envío lo de PowerPoint, la presentación y ustedes tienen el manual y algún video que explica, que explica el tema. Yo siempre les voy a estar haciendo eso como una ayuda extra. Entonces les sugiero que usted se tome ahí un tiempito viendo en avanzada eso y cuando ya estemos en la clase, pues usted ya sabe. Ah, esto es lo que dice la teacher, ¿verdad? esto es lo que está explicando y usted trate ya solamente de que se le vaya quedando el vocabulario, que la pronunciación ponga atención bastante cuando se está practicando repítalo, repítalo porque siempre la nueva, el nuevo vocabulario ¿verdad? porque yo más o menos calculo qué palabras le pueden eh, son las nuevas claro que para usted todo va a ser nuevo quizás pero este, eh, yo trato de, de enfatizar bastante el vocabulario nuevo que yo sé que a este nivel es bastante nuevo entonces usted ponga bastante atención como le digo en la clase y las instrucciones difíciles casi siempre se las he estado diciendo en español, si se ha fijado. Sí, sí. Eh, así y ahora se adaptan a mi forma, porque esta es la primera semana. Y ya vaya, por ejemplo, fue la primera vez que trabajamos con el video. Otro día vamos a trabajar otra vez con el video. Y ya ustedes ya van a saber que me estoy refiriendo al video del WhatsApp. Que tienen que escucharlo y van a hacer cierta cosa con ese video. O solamente bueno. escucharlo, o solamente escucharlo, porque vea solo lo mando solo para que escuchen la explicación de la gramática. Eso es lo que yo le puedo recomendar, que vaya así. Está bien, muchas gracias. Y, no le, y que sea solo oyente o que usted haya pasado, no le impide ir aprendiendo. Ajá. Bueno, okay. gracias. Y sería? si usted escucha que no pronuncio bien una palabra, me corrige, por favor. <risas> No tenga por seguro que lo voy a hacer. <ríe> a veces no bueno. lo hago porque, porque son bastantes palabras, pero al final yo trato siempre de enfatizar en grupo. Pero así a usted le voy a ir corrigiendo en el momento, como ya me dio permiso. <ríe> Vaya, entonces Está eso bien. sería Muchas todo. Gracias. Eso sería todo, Rocío. Ok, have a nice bueno. night. Siempre nos vamos a decir... Re, eh, despedir en inglés, ok. Have a nice night. Bye. Have a nice night. Así Have dice, ¿verdad? Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye. Uh -huh. Entonces, buenas noches, quiere decir. Have Bien. a Bye. nice night. Ok, nice. See, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.